Hey, Lily is in the house. Lily is in the house. Hello. Can you hear Lilia. me? Lilia. Lilia, yeah. Can you hear me? Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. What I you just got wanted... for me? So you answered my question as far as why my boyfriend hasn't uh, updated his uh, profile. I wanted okay. to clarify. I wanted to clarify something. Um, okay, so let's re let's rewind for everybody. So you're in a relationship with a man for six months. Is that correct? For fourteen months. Oh, 14 months. Excuse and me. And we've been living Excuse together. Me. Yes. We've been living together and, for eight. But he hasn't updated his social media profile, correct? Correct. He's not on the dating apps anymore. It's just he hasn't no. updated his social media. Okay. Yes. And All the right. thing and the thing is, is that I also have a Facebook. We're, we're Facebook friends. So okay. I don't share anything private on my Facebook page. I only share uh, memes and political stuff okay. Okay. whereas whereas he actually shares family pictures events photos friends everything okay. so that is why i mean i don't want to be hypocritical okay but but i just you know for me this is new because um i was married for 37 years before i lost my okay. husband in 2020 Okay. And we had a wonderful um I'm sorry about that by the way. That sucks. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And um so and we had a wonderful communication. So I've been reading all your books and I've been trying to figure out what's going on in the dating world today. Okay. And um so I am going to bring it up with him and you're right when you said that why is it bothering me to ask yeah. myself why it's bothering me? Yeah. And I would say that um, because I do want it to be all in, I am all in. And but you don't post pictures or anything, so you're not. Let's just reverse engineer this. Yeah. So I, you know, you could lead by example, but first you could have a conversation with them. Uh, a friend of mine wrote a book called "Chatting or Cheating." Um, chatting or cheating. Dr. Sherry Myers. This is actually my ex-girlfriend. Why I'm bringing this up is, there's a picture of her. Um, why I'm bringing this up is we actually went to New York to be on the Katie Couric show and we did something. She did an article called Social Media Prenup. Could someone write this in the chat box? Social Media Prenup, Dr. Sherry Myers, and then Katie Couric. Can someone write that in the a chat box? Because we actually did an episode on TV talking about having a conversation about what you post on your social media. So we had an agreement of what was acceptable and not acceptable to post on our social media pages. So social media prenup, Dr. Sherry Myers, Katie Couric. Okay. So I just invite you to watch that. It'll be easy to find on YouTube. Now, first, if this is something you'd like in your relationship, you may want to start to consider doing it yourself, updating your profile to say you're in a relationship and post pictures of the two of you. Maybe he's desirous of that from you first is possible. He may want that from you. I actually did that. I went from uh, my relationship status. I posted from widowed to in a relationship. Okay, so is he aware of that? I would hope so, because he's friends with me, so he Well, you no, know, that doesn't, just because you did it doesn't mean that it's in his consciousness. And did you okay. talk about doing that? Did you talk about that, you know, in your relationship? You've been together 14 months. Yeah, I never, I never really uh, thought about it. It just kind of... By the way, that... don't, don't take offense to what I'm about to say, but that's called having a grown-up conversation. Okay. No you, offense. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But the re and I'm being a little tongue in cheek here. Why I'm saying grown up is saying, hey, sweetheart, you know what? I just want you to know that I'm going to update my social media profile to state that I'm in a relationship. How do you feel about that? That's a grown up conversation. 
Okay. I know you did it because it's your, it's your life. You can do what you want, but you're in relationship with someone. You're having physical intimacy with someone. This is now publicly declaring something. I think it would be appropriate to share that with your partner. It sounds like you didn't, but you're expecting men to be mind readers. Oh, wait a minute. She changed her profile. Maybe I should do mine. Ladies expect men to be mind readers. We're not fucking mind readers. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> get real. You've got, this is where I'm sorry. You ladies have this propensity to expect men to read your minds. We don't know how to read your mind. Okay. Got it. Okay. So now why not just talk to him about it directly and share with him what you've done and ask him how he would feel if he did it. Now, how he responds will give you a clue of how serious he is in the relationship. But you said you want an all in relationship. Yeah, Do you and guys so did have, he. Huh? So did he. Well, we did versus does is two different words. So do you both at this moment in time want an all-in relationship? Absolutely. That's okay, what, so what does that mean to you? What does all-in mean? All-in means that we, we, we take care of each other. We got each other's backs. I'm there for him. He's there for me. We love each other. We support each other. Um, we're right now in the process of looking for a house together. Um, okay, well, that's a big deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We talk about these things, and it that's I, I met his family, I met his okay. friends. Uh, okay. We're in each other. Well, we live together, so we're in each other's well, lives. Okay. So, so, so but you kind, of kind of implied you kind of implied early in this conversation that you're all in and he isn't. Now you're kind oh, of no. changing everything. No, no, no. I'm just wondering. I, I said I am having doubts because he posts his whole life on his Facebook page, but I'm not part of it. That's where the doubt was oh, because, coming But in. your doubts is because you haven't had a grown-up conversation That's with him. That's true. That's okay, true. so you have to take responsibility for your lack because you have this fantasy that he sees. Oh, my God. Her profile says in a relationship, I need to do something about it. You're making an assumption that he sees right. that. Right. He goes to you. By the way, when we swipe, by the way, most people use their app, okay? This is what we see, okay? We don't actually click on the person's profile and you can see my profile, okay? Nowhere does it say my relationship status. You'd have to click to the about page, okay? What does my profile say? I can't see it without my glasses. It's single. But you'd have okay. to click the fucking about page to see that. I rarely ever, 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 ever click on someone's about page. That's a friend of mine. Okay. So you, your homework assignment. When are you going to see him next? Uh, he's going to come home from work this evening. Okay. You're going to tell him you're online right now? You're going to tell him this? Yes, I think it would be fun. Okay, have them rewind. We started at the 50-minute mark, okay? okay? So write that down, 50-minute mark. <laughs> Show them this I'll clip, remember. okay? And here's the thing. You're going to say to them, hey, sweetheart, I don't know if you're aware of this, but I changed my relationship status from widowed to in a relationship some time ago, but you may not be aware of this. It would mean so much to me if you do the same, because we're obviously, we live together, we're moving in together, you share your life publicly. Wouldn't it be great if we post a picture of the two of us, establish that we're in relationship? How do you feel about that? How he responds, and I'm speaking to you, my friend here, I'm speaking to him right now, because you're going to watch this. How you <laughs> respond will speak volumes as to your real care for Lilia, okay? Thank you, I will. All right. Can I reach into the camera and give you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug? Thank you. All right. All my best to you, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye now. Well, Lilia just shared with us a wonderful example of where human beings oftentimes have duct tape over their mouth. They're not having grown-up conversations. She, see, she just assumed that he saw her or her social media profile changed in relationship. That's an assumption. Grownups have grown up conversations with one another. They share what's going on in their life. Hey, sweetheart, I updated my, my social media 
profile to say I'm in a relationship and I just want you to be aware of that. Is it okay that I post your name there? Okay, this is what grownups do. They have grown up conversations with one another. I hope Lilia has that conversation. I hope as he's watching this, uh, he finds value in this as well. Folks, I'd like to hear your thoughts on what I just shared. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. I do my best to read them all in the first 24 hours. As always, if you find value in my videos, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos. And if you want to connect with me directly in the show notes, you can schedule a discovery call with me. You can join my fun group called Midlife Love Mastery, where you can have direct access to me on a regular basis for only $20 a month. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, get the books I recommend all listed below. All right, I'm going to sign off this video as I always do. First off, give myself a big gigantic Jonathan Barrick of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone, a pet, a teddy bear, a pillow, and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives.